So is there anything left undone? <laughs> so it's just trusting in the awareness thing and not contradicting it and understanding your true power. That's it. And how are you going to do that? How are you going to not contradict it? By settling in on a few things, by counting your blessings, by making lists of positive aspects, by noticing what is working, by looking for easy existing matches. Don't take your lover or whoever, your mother or your daughter or whoever it is, don't take the hardest case and try to make a list of positive aspects. <laughs> That's just asking for trouble. Because every time you try, if you don't really mean it, a whole bunch of things that you really mean will show up. And then you'll trust less the power of this process. So choose easy existing matches. Easy existing matches. Look for the evidence of the well being that you want to continue to live. And let that be what you're focused upon mostly so that that's the practice of your vibration that's the practice of your point of attraction and then start connecting the dots notice how many things are so obviously in response to your pure asking not your questioning asking not your guilty pleasures not your do I really deserve it pleasures not to your comparative pleasures why should I get to thrive when others aren't everybody gets to thrive they've just got to figure out how to and we promise you can't get sick enough to help sick people get well or poor enough to help poor people be prosperous you can't be confused enough to bring clarity into any conversation ever if you've practiced yourself there so that the bag of marbles that you carry around with you it's the newest analogy that we've been offering to help you to understand what your point of attraction is your point of attraction is what's active within you thought wise and every thought that's ever been thought still exists and everything that you've ever experienced is still in your bag of marbles really big bag really little marbles okay we know it's not the perfect analogy but it's one that you can get your thoughts around but it's only the active marbles that represent what come back to you and the active marbles are the one you practice the ones you practice the ones you practice and so when you don't feel good about something do your best to diffuse it to change the subject and we don't mean be a doormat we don't mean hide in a cave we don't mean live under a rock we mean if it doesn't feel good do not continue to promote it and attract evidence of it change your point of attraction if you can if you can if you can and the more you want to the more you will until people will notice you they'll say what's going on with you you seem lighter and happier you say I am they'll say did your ship come in did you win that lottery you don't have to answer them they want you to you want a way to help them know there is so much that is going so well for me but it's not me taking score of what's manifested it's me anticipating what's in the process of becoming I can feel my aliveness I can feel the clarity of my being and I'm seeing evidence every day of what I'm focused upon and I'm beginning to feel really engaged in life and really a sort of sense of invincibility and oh the relief I'm feeling as I've taken so many things that I worried about and left them to the universe to figure out universe you know that thing I was worried about about my grandson getting to the college of his choice and playing on the ball team he wants to play on and you know how unhappy my neighbor is and you know what's going on over there and over there and over there thanks 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 I know you've got it but most important I'm not going to worry about it anymore because I do not have the power or the right to make one other being in the universe want something different than they are choosing to want and when I stop trying to wield power in a way that power is never wielded power isn't wielded it's empowerment not power you don't assert your power you find your place and you practice yourself there and you feel good and you feel good and you feel good and you feel good and the demonstration of how good you feel comes to you and comes to you and comes to you and comes to you and people who don't understand want to know what's going on with you doesn't seem fair are you the inheritor of wonderful things what's going on with you don't try too hard to explain to somebody who's irritated at your good fortune 
don't try to explain to them because they're irritated at your good fortune they're irritated they don't mean to be their irritation is just their indicator that they really 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 want something that you are exhibiting evidence of yeah not only can you want many things at once you do not only are there more things than you know there are many 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 more things than you know have you assigned it to the universe because it's the universe's job to do it that's not how it goes you have identified it and in your not fretting over it or fussing over it or flailing about over its opposite you are no longer initiating an opposing vibration so you are allowing the momentum that will be there otherwise to happen and eventually there will be a moment in time when that thought will turn to a thing Esther's hairdresser such good friend of Esther's lives in California said to her month after month Esther find me a boyfriend Esther introduce me to a boyfriend Esther I need a boyfriend Esther find me 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 a boyfriend and Esther's answer was always the same um, okay and then one day Esther sat in the seat her friend put the cape on her and looked at her in the mirror and she said I met someone I met someone that was one of Esther's favorite moments in time because that thought turned to a thing still together it was what she was asking for it just took a little while for her to trust that she can have whatever she wants no matter what it is nothing is off limits nothing is off limits it's all certain the possibility the probability is where your focus sets in and what that's all about so let's link that together possible probable is completely connected to your putting your desire to feel good first your desire to find your path of most allowance because that's what relief is that's what feeling good is when you care about the way you feel so much so that you focus yourself in a way now after now after now after now after now where without a conditional reason that you're focused on that makes you feel good you're awarenessing all this vibrational momentum and you're feeling good and now you're not in the way of your own creation and now your own creation is showing up in endless ways all day long as you walk around this universe and you notice the well-being that follows you everywhere you go the engagement that's interesting the fun that is there the people that are nice to be with the insights that you help one another with the things that you do Esther heard from the man that walked her from her sleeping room here that they're going to dismantle this entire structure and put another one up and Esther said you just mean bring different wallpaper no they're taking it down Esther said they're taking it down and building it up she said I love big thinkers I love that kind of thinking that kind of expectation that knowing that that can be done Esther's built several houses she loves construction almost more than life itself she really really likes watching things come into being and she likes playing with all of the talented people that do it but the idea of taking this down and putting it back up it's not on her Esther's list of things to do but she's sure gonna like it when she shows up here and sees what happened and remembers how it first became alive in her mind you see what we're getting at all things are possible and all things are coming the question that you all are asking incessantly is all right Abraham if it's possible when is it going to show up <laughs> when and where and how and who and we say when you ask questions to which you don't have answers you throw sand on your own trail but when you talk about what you want and why you want it when you feel the fun of it doesn't that sound fun don't you like transformation don't you like thoughts turning to things don't you like knowing the possibilities aren't you thrilled with the billions of people that share your planet in any moment in time and the things that they are putting into a vortex aren't you just enlivened by the knowledge that there is a vortex that 
includes all of the desires of all of the people can you imagine the power and the energy of that and can you imagine all of their inner beings focused upon what they are asking for can you imagine your inner being can you feel your inner being focused there and can you feel when you join it and when you don't can you feel when you are allowing and when you're resisting and can you get better and better at allowing and allowing and can you connect the dots and notice the evidence in your own life can you demonstrate it can you teach through the clarity of your example can you be the one that the little kids that know you know oh that was always my fun aunt that was my fun aunt that was my playful aunt that was my aunt that was always up for a good time that's Esther's favorite conversation that she hears from the kids and the kids and the kids and the kids oh you've always been fun she doesn't like it when they say it in front of their only other aunt <laughs> oh you're the fun aunt you want to be known as the fun one the clear one the easy one the easy one the uplifted one the one that felt good to be around don't you want to be the one that lets what you want in if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video